Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, it's going to discuss another C++ library, Crypto++ Modern C++ Library. Crypto++ Library is a free C++ class library of cryptographic schemas. This library contains the following algorithms. Authenticated encryption schemes, high speed stream cipher, AES, message authentication code, hash functions. To quick look at a Crypto library, it provides almost the same feature as OpenSSL. So, what is the major difference between Crypto and the OpenSSL library? Compared to OpenSSL, Crypto++ is a modern C++ library. It's object-oriented program design. Instead, OpenSSL is a classical C library. We say it is a modern C++ library as it supports compilation using C++03, C++11, C++14, and C++17 runtime libraries. The focus of this video is how to write a program using Crypto++ libraries. For installing on Debian and Ubuntu Linux, Crypto++ library has been added in apt repository. Here on my Debian Linux, first you have to log in as a super user. To check package available on apt repository command, here you can see the package available on Debian Linux repositories. To install this command, since we have already installed, this installation is no longer required. After installation, we can check our library, so cd. Here is a library. And to check our header file, here is all the .h file. There's another way to install. It goes to the Crypto++ website, download .zip file, unzip it, and follow in the instruction to compile, install this. And now, we are ready to writing a program using Crypto++ library. Here are my Debian Linux environment. First, we start from an easy example, source, filters, and sync. We create two programs, file-read.cpp and file-copy.cpp. The advantage of Crypto++ is its pipeline design pattern that works in the way similar to the Unix Linux shell pubs. So example, from source, filter, 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 and goes to the sync. In the pipeline paradigm, the source are the original of data. For example, file source, string source, and socket source. The sync is the destination of transformed data. For example, file sync, string sync, and circuit sync. The filter is the object transform date. For example, base64 encoder, base64 decoder, base16 encoder, and base16 decoders. Our first example will be read data from file and the print on the screen. So our original data source is the file source, and we read it into the string sync, and we print it to the std out. Our usage will be program name, argument, the source files. First, we have to declare a string. We name it, that's the string. Because the data is come from the file, 
So the source will be the file source. A file source allows you to read data from the file because our data from file and the file name from command line argument we use in this constructor. Constructor will be the first will be the file name from command line argument one. Second is a pump all. If this is a true, it means read data during the instantialization. So we take a true. The third parameter will be the string sync. So we continue. After we read the data into our string, we can just print out. Now we are finished program. We read data to the string called the data string and then we print it to the STTC out. So you can see using crypto plus plus library program became very easy and simple. So now we save this and we go to another program. In this example, read the data from one file and send to another file. The usage will be two arguments. First one is the source file where we read data from. Second one is the test file where we send data to. This program get the data from the file called the file source and will send to another file called the file sync. We are going to do first one is where we read the data from argument one and uh, during the instantialization we are going to read so we're going to true and we send the data to a file so it's a new file sync file name will be then we finish our program just one line we finish our program so now we save this we compile this file read and file copy We compiled our program. This is our executable. Here is our data file, the original message.txt. So this file, we have just the 10 line. This is the Hui test message 01234569. Till nine. So if we try to read this, we use our executable, file read and file name. You can see we read the file and the print a screen. If we want to copy, we use the file copy, original file, copy to a file called test message.txt. Original file. Here is my copy the file. So you can see using crypto plus plus library, very easy. But uh, as you know, copy and read is not our purpose using crypto plus plus library. Our second example are using base64 encoder, base64 decoder to encoding and decoding the data from file. We have created three programs. Base64 message encoding, Base64 file encoding, and Base64 file decoding.cpp. The usage of this Base64 message encoding will get the date message from command line. We encoding this and print it out, and we are using the cipher string to decoding the message and reprint plain text message on the screen. First, we get a message from a command line. We encode it using base64 encoder into the cipher string and we print it on the STDC out. After that, we get the data from cipher string, decoding this using base64 decoder into plain text string, and then we print it again. So first, we define some variable cipher string, which we store the encoded data plain text string store our decoding message and we are using the filter which called a base64 encoder and we have an integer called a message size 
because the message from a command line argument. First, we get the message size using star line. After we get the message, we allocate the memory using the malloc of this message size plus one. We name it text buffer. We memory set our text buffer and we copy the data from argument one to text buffer. Size is a message size. After that, we we'll go into encoder. Put into the text buffer. Size and message end to our text buffer. We get the size of max retrievable, which is after encoding. The size of our message, the type is word 64, which is 64 integer. If size is greater than zero, we resize our cipher string. We get our cipher date from encoder put into the cipher string size will be the cipher string size. After that, we can print out First, we print the original text message from argument 1. And then we print out cipher string encoded message. After that, we are going to do First, we will be decoding cipher date. So we go in cipher string decoding to the plain text string, then we print out. Here we have to use a string source called SS which is a source from cipher string. We are going to use in true and new. We are going to decoding this to a plain text string, which is a new string sync. After we decoding, the data go back to the plain text string. So now we print out decoded message. Text size, text string. After that, we're going to finish the program. Before we end, we have to free our memory. We allocate it. And we finish our program. Now we save this. We're going to our next program, base64 file encoding. In this program, we are going to read the date from source file and write into encrypted files. Program usage will be the two argument, source file and encrypt files. Our pipeline from file source, which is argument one, using base64 encoder and sync to argument two. After validate the usage of command line, because the date from the file, so it's a file source, and we name it the file source. First is the source from argument one. During instantialization, the object we read file, so we use true, and it's new. After we encoded, we are going to send to the sync, which is another file. It's new file name from argument 2. Finish our program. You can see using crypto plus plus one line can read the file, encode it, and write into encrypted files. Now we save our program. We go to the next program. We are going to read encoded data from encoded file and write into decoded files. This program pipeline from file source argument one encoded using base64 decoder and write into file sync the argument two. 
file source and the data original is from argument one true reading date during the instantialization and after base 64 decoder it's new file sync argument two one line read the date decoding the date and write into the files so now we save our program we compiling our program now our program got compiled first we are going to test base 64 message encoding the message is from command line So this is Hui test base 64 encoder and decoder. You can see this is our original message. The message size is 44. After encoded, this is our cipher string size is 61. And after we decoded that message back as original message size is 44. And now we try to use base64 file encoder encoding our message from original message txt and, and the encoded message dot txt get original message and get encoded message here is our original message here is our encoded message and you can see after encoding message is not readable now we try to decode our message using base64 file decoder source will be encoded message destination will be the decoded message dot txt this is our original message this is our encoded message and this is our decoded message so you can see after decoding message is back as original message hello this is hui thanks to watch my video hopeful this is useful and it's going to be great to have your feedback